You all come back to Channel Sport this morning. Time to look at the UEFA Champions League round of 16. First leg matches that went down last night. And now uh, it's only right to start with the biggest match of the night between Chelsea and Barcelona. It ended 1 1 in case uh, you missed uh, that particular matchup. Uh, Williams scoring for Chelsea. And um, Messi scoring his first goal against Barcelona uh, in that game against <laughs> Chelsea. Uh, for Bayern Munich, um, like our pundits in the house said yesterday, uh, Toby will be uh, end of the road uh, for the success. And that's exactly what happened, especially after going down uh, to 10 men early in the game. 5 0, uh, the scoreline. Uh, Lewandowski, two goals. Um, Thomas Müller, two goals. And Kingsley Coleman, two goals. So we're not going to talk much about that because that tie is as good as over. Mm. Let's talk about the one that a few people still feel. It is still um, open. I don't know how open, but some people feel Chelsea still have a chance uh, in this game uh, against uh, Barcelona in three weeks' time. That's the second leg. But first leg, first of all, uh, what's your take on that particular game, the way Chelsea approached it? Uh, some people feel um, they were a bit defensive and um, they should have come out more. I don't think there's any other way to play Barcelona. Right. Yes, so if okay. you open yourself up, you know, you know, yeah. what, they you know would, what they would do. I think Chelsea were quite impressive yesterday. Um, I was insistent that uh, they wouldn't lose, and they didn't. Right. I feel uh, Barcelona, they've not been as impressive away from home. Uh, Chelsea should have got that, but um, Christiansen, a young man's mistake, right. Can and uh, um, uh, it gave uh, Messi an opportunity to score his first goal against Chelsea. I think uh, Messi just likes cancelling out those, um, you know, those things you say. He's not scored against Czech, he scores two. Right. Yeah, so, <laughs> but I, this is I, taking him a while, though. It's taking Night him a while, game. yeah. Mm. But um, Chelsea, they, they're not as strong defensively as they used to be. Mm. I think N'Golo Kante almost had Messi yesterday, if not for the goal. I think he, he because they are both, you know, uh, uh, of almost the same height, I think mm. it was easy for him to, to uh, get a hold. Him. Yes, they get a hold of him. Mm. I think Chelsea had a good game plan yesterday. William uh, uh, was, was off the bar yesterday. I think um, they played very well. But um, the new Camp is a different uh, stadium entirely. It's open, it, the, the, you know... It's the, massive. Yeah, the space is There's different. There's a lot of space. There will be a lot of space for Barcelona to maneuver those passes into. But then it also leaves Chelsea with an opportunity for, uh, for counter-attacks, which is mm -hmm. very possible. Uh, the, the last 10 minutes of the first half, uh, Pedro, William and Hazard really ran ragged on that um, Chelsea, uh, Barcelona defense. Mm. And I think, uh, um, I believe they can also uh, do that at the new Camp. Uh, but uh, it's the new Camp, it's, it's the Champions goal. League, and yeah. you expect Barcelona to go it's through from here. Down. Okay, let's, um, we'll continue our pre uh, preview uh, to that second leg between uh, Chelsea and Barcelona after we take post-match reactions from Antonio Conte. Game uh, must uh, give us uh, a lot of confidence to trust. To trust that in the second leg uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the qualification is open. The qualification is open. It won't be easy. We must be realistic because we are talking about Barcelona and uh, uh, also tonight they, they show it to be a really strong team, a fantastic team. When you play against Barcelona, uh, you know very well. Uh, uh, that uh, if you want to face uh, them uh, uh, box to box, and I think that uh, you are crazy, and uh, you go to to lose the game, not only one nil to nil, uh, like happened in Spain, uh, four, five, six nil, yeah, and. Uh, I think that uh, when, when you play this type of game, you must use uh, intelligent, especially if you know that uh, this team now is level, is, uh, is uh, more up than us. This opponent, uh, this type of player like Messi, uh, Iniesta, uh, Suarez, uh, if you make a mistake, uh, you pay, you pay. And uh, it's a pity, it's a pity because I think uh, that tonight, uh, at the end of the game, uh, we are disappointed for, for, the, for the final result. Oh, Antonio Conte there, um, disappointed that Chelsea That's couldn't insane. hold on for all three points uh, against uh, Barcelona. And uh, they hit the post twice through William. Third time lucky found the back of the net. And um, you're talking about uh, uh, the fact that 
uh, the top striker, the most expensive signing, uh, Alvaro Morata got just 10 minutes. Um, what do you make of that very late change uh, by Antonio Conte? I think, uh, I believe uh, he did that because, okay, it looked like, let, let's just, you know, throw the dice at it. I, I felt he could have um, brought him on earlier uh, to engage uh, Gerard Piquet, who we know is, can you know, suspect, he right. can be sus suspect. And mm. that would have allowed the likes of uh, Hazard and William, because I felt uh, after 67, 60, 67 minutes, mm. Pedro was done for. I she felt uh, uh, he, he should have been substituted for either, either Morata or Giroud. Giroud I would have preferred because okay. of, because of his ability to hold on to the ball and link up play. We saw him do that with Hazard uh, in, uh, against Hull City and yes. it, was, it was good between them. I felt he should have brought him on and uh, played those aerial balls against Barcelona. Right. They don't have the tallest players. They didn't really explore that. Yeah, they, didn't, they did not explore that. No crosses coming in because there was nobody to head the ball. Mm. I, I felt uh, he was being uh, conservative because yeah, you don't want to open yourself up to scoring goals. But then when you have a player who, as much as he okay. was uh, you know, putting it in his beat, that's talking about Pedro now, I, I felt um, in the second half he should have given opportunity to one of his big men. Um, to have, to an, to have a goal, yeah, to have a goal at the defense of Barcelona. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's so why, you know, after the game, game, when he was being criticized about his tactics and all that, he talked about the fact that, look, if you play box to box with Barcelona, I, know you're I mean, lose. you get yeah. something you're going to lose. So I think maybe he feels if he wants to use those days, the players he used in that game would just give him what he wants. He didn't mm. want to use attack-minded players. He wanted to use the defensive. No, I, 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 yes. think, I think the 11 he played, or yeah. at least the front line he line played, played, is an away front mm -hmm. line. These this are the front lines you should. Yeah. These are uh, 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 the front line you should play when you're away from home. Mm. When you're home, you expect. I, 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 I felt okay, strongly. Up, yeah, I felt strongly that Chelsea had an opportunity to win Barca yesterday. Yeah. They didn't exploit. Yeah, he did not exploit. Because Barca, no like they, you know, I mean, they're, just, they're a great side. I mean, yeah. But they have not been like blowing teams away, especially if you have a Champions League. Yeah, exactly. They're not scoring a lot of goals. So, mm -hmm. uh, unlike what they're and doing they're in back Spain, is and you so, suspect. Uh, anyway, yeah. the thing is, I think if, to, if it was the other Chelsea, we used to know they have good defense or not. Mm. They don't have that. I think he was trying to just play safe, don't concede goals. But he has a very really. good... Uh, they had a very good midfield Front, pair okay. yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, Gulukante and Fabregas, yeah. they had a Gulukante good understanding was yes. uh, yesterday. I, I, I still felt, okay, you started with uh, William, Pedro and Hazard yesterday. You should have... 60 minutes was good enough to bring so, in a big man. Okay. Explore, explore <laughs> uh, the, the area balls, right. which, which if you want to beat Barcelona, is, really, course, that's where to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So no, that's, that's it for it. Chelsea. The They'll live to fight another day, definitely. And uh, it looks like Anthony Conte just didn't want to lose the, the tie in the first leg. So 1-1 one, one still open. All Chelsea players still believe they can go to the camp now uh, and get the job done. Let's move on. We're still in Spain, actually. This time we're in Seville. Manchester United are in town for their own first leg, round of 16 clash. And uh, Jose Mourinho has been talking. It's, it's quite popular in Seville for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, because the press, they were really happy to see him. It was, it was a packed uh, presser, Cecilia. And um, that's where he actually said that United are not favorites in this game. And that raised, uh, caused a few uh, raised eyebrows uh, because United... Right. You know, Sevilla, Sevilla, you know, Europa, the, League, Europa League more, you know, their level. I mean, uh -huh. does it have a point that United are not favourites in this game? Uh, Manchester United have been, just they've not, games, yeah, it's, it's basic mind games. Oh. Um, they've, not, they've not been at their best in recent times. And uh, you want to take the pressure off your players. I think okay. he's done that one for his players. Uh, you know, the Sevilla team will feel, okay, if you also think we can do it, we can do it. And then they will come out and give Manchester United an opportunity to, uh, you know, to go at them. Um, I, I think, I think it, it's, it's a good ploy. Yeah, you it's know a good you ploy. like the back of your hands, right? Not really, but I think he's become predictable <laughs> over time. Right. Uh, but I think it's a good one he's done for okay. his team, um, taking the pressure off them, mm. um, taking the attraction to himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe uh, they can get the business done in Seville. Uh, they, they don't definitely Manchester United don't want to be the only English team not to win mm. <laughs> after the, the after, yeah after the done. other guys have done yeah. so uh, so I think uh, I believe they, they they have a good side enough Alexis Sanchez available to play for them right. and um, he's he's familiar with playing against Seville too mm. so it's uh, you know it's it's shaping up to be a good one but then Sevilla as 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 irregular as they've been yeah. in the Champions League we saw them lose against Leicester City. 
at last the same stage season. last season. Yeah. But then um, you think you, you you think about them as a team that you don't really know what they're you going to bring predict, yes. on the night. You see them uh, lose Sometimes. a game against Real Betis and then Can't give me, yeah, yeah and then give uh, a Real Madrid a run for wrong. their money. So uh, you don't know the team you're going to face on the night. Okay. So Manchester United will have to come with their own game plan right. and uh, hope to Stick you to know it. Uh, to to overturn it oh. right there in Seville. Okay. Right to listen to Jose Mourinho now saying they're not really favorite for this they start around the quarterfinals and not yet in the last 16 the last 16 is still it still looks a long way to go when the team reaches the quarterfinal then i think is the moment where uh, even the teams that are not favorites which is our case they start realizing that Anything is possible. Sevilla defends really well. I don't think it's possible to score, to score many goals. And I think the game is going to be really, really competitive because they can say what they want. They can be nice to us. They can say that we are favourites. That means absolutely, absolutely nothing. I think I prefer to say that they have good players. Yeah, they have good players, and uh, the defense is very, very strong. Interesting. Interesting How words. How true is that? Um, yeah, okay. Not, not talking about, <laughs> yeah, about good players, though. I mean, um, Paul Pogba has been in the news uh, for mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks now. He missed the game against Huddersfield. Uh, because he's of, ill. Yeah, he called. Phone, phone him sick, right? We do that once in a while. Why you don't fancy? Yeah. Yeah, not me, though. I mean, people do that once in a while. Uh, why you don't you fancy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, seriously, Wait, are now, you guys saying that the guy is not really ill? No, nah, I didn't say that. That's not what I'm trying to say. He it's was silly. hinting at it. Yeah, but that's not what I said. Anyways, he's back in contention now. Yeah. Would you bring him back straight into of the lineup? Of course. Line There's no better midfielder at Manchester United than Paul Pogba. I think uh, I believe, people keep saying they've not found the best position for, for him yeah. to play. I think that's, 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 that's too much to ask. Are you going to go bring back uh, Makalele and... Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Lampards for him to play with to, play. to find a good position. I believe Pop Koba gives his best. Uh, it's just the fact that the mm -hmm. team, when the team is not winning, you look at the most expensive player right. and then you blame him mm -hmm. uh, for their loss. I think that's what is happening to Pop Koba. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a very good midfielder. Uh, there's, there's no way he's fully fit and then you don't play him. Right. Uh, that doesn't mean he doesn't get substituted. I think people raise a lot of eyebrows when, when, he gets when exactly right. he's a, he's a player on the pitch. Mm -hmm. If he's not giving as much as he should be, which he hasn't in the yeah, past, yeah, he, he, he should definitely yeah. get substituted. If if that's what the solution is for the manager, so I don't necessarily think there's a problem there. Mm -hmm. People yeah. people are raising issues of um, maybe because Alexis Sanchez is earning so much and he's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know, media, they're just raising off. controversies where mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think they are one uh, uh when he was signed there was a lot of expectations lot. we know uh we know the the glamorous goal the camera goals he scored at uve yes we we expected him to you know go all blazing in the epl mm. it's not happened for mm. him doesn't mean he cannot he's still happen. a young player he's yeah. 24 but now that you mentioned <clears throat> expectations i mean is it right to place all those high expectations on paul pogba just because he was signed for 89 million pounds it's just going to fall, like I said. I mean, what Jose is saying, we shouldn't put too much pressure on this guy. He has the same responsibility as, as every member of the squad. So when you guys are expecting Pogba mm -hmm. to just drag United to a win, he says it's not fair. Well, um, I, I don't expect him to do that because of how much he was bought. Yeah. I expect the responsibilities on him because of the character of the player that he is. I believe he's one of those players that, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have the character to move the team. You, you watch how bubbly some of those um, lads yeah, are yeah, when he's when playing he's around them. Right. So I believe he has what it takes. Um, not because of how much he was bought, but because of his character and the kind of player that he right. is. Mm -hmm. I, I still think he's not exploiting the best of himself. Not yet, no. Because I, 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 he, he, he can't still, do better. You see those himself. pores uh, once in a while. Yeah. You see it come mm -hmm. through Flashes, and yeah. then you, you expect him to continue from that. And uh, I still believe uh, uh, Jose's uh, insistent on sometimes being excessively defensive he's not helping some of the players yeah, that he that plays go and also the fact that manchester united truly 
they do need a creative midfielder. Pogba is not a creative midfielder. Mm. He's more... Uh, he's, he's a, a central Pog midfielder. Yes, like you said, he should be able to play anywhere. Like anywhere. Roy King said, Pogba should be able to play anywhere. Still young, exactly. still developing. But we need to go on a break, though. When we'll come back, we'll be looking at what the papers are saying.